Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today we are doing a Foundation Friday review on the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. I'm really excited to do this for you because I recently just purchased this foundation and I wore it uh, for one day for the first time earlier this week and I'll link that video in the card so that you can watch that if you'd like. And so I have some thoughts about it and I wanted to share that with you all. So if you are into foundation reviews, you wanna see flash photography, you wanna see how this foundation holds up for a minimum of eight plus hours, then you definitely wanna stay tuned to this review. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video and taking time out of your day to watch me talk about foundation. I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel if you do like this video and you do enjoy reviews and get ready with me's and honest opinions. And then if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for constantly being there and supporting my channel and just you know, growing with me. I really do appreciate it. So let's just get right into this video. Like I said, we're going to review the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. So I have mine in the shade Truly Topaz. And, and, and when I roll the foundation stick up, you get this amount of product, which I think is a really good amount of product. I don't see the total amount of product on the actual foundation stick, but I will put it right here um, on the screen so that you know. Comparing it to my Tom Ford foundation stick. My Tom Ford foundation stick has 0.5 ounces of product and they look pretty similar. I mean, I've used the Tom Ford foundation a little bit, um, but they look like you're getting pretty similar amounts, which is amazing uh, for a foundation stick. So good amount of product there. It retails for $9.95. I purchased mine from Walmart, but you can also purchase this from their website. A little bit more information about the product is it's uh, marketed as being a matte finish, full coverage, suitable for normal to dry skin. It's formulated with vitamins A and C, so it can help to nourish the skin and protect the skin. And in addition to protecting the skin, it has SPF in it that's going to protect from UVA and UVBs, which is very interesting because not all products with SPF can protect against UVA and UVB rays, so that's very interesting. And it comes in 17 shades. So let's start putting this on our face. I'm gonna start by uh, using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm very familiar with this primer, so um, I'm gonna use this so I can definitely tell, you know, what is the primer and also what is the foundation. Okay, so um, as I usually do, I'm gonna use a brush on one side of my face and a beauty sponge on the other. So when I wore this foundation for the first time, it was pretty full coverage, so. I'm just gonna do these amount of stripes on the side of my face and blend it in. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with the foundation on, just I would say maybe one layer of the foundation and then this is what my face looks like without the foundation. So I think that blended in really nicely. And um, it says it's a matte finish. I think it's more of like a satin finish because outside of the primer, I didn't put any of my normal illuminators on. I just have my normal skincare. So I feel like you can still see some sheen to the foundation. Um, so I wouldn't say this is matte, which I'm not mad at at all. Okay, so I'm going to apply the same amount of strips on this side of the face and then we're going to go in with my damp L sponge to blend it in. Okay, I don't, mm -mm. I don't like the sponge at all. I feel like I have to swipe to move the product. So like I'm pressing it into my skin and I feel like I'm only getting product right where a stripe is. So no, absolutely not even gonna finish that. Now I need to apply more foundation because I didn't even get the areas that I wanted to. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like the sponge just kind of like, so with the sponge, I will say this. I've, I noticed that with using the sponge, 
This side does not look as matte as this side. Um, this side, I don't think, has as much coverage as this side. So I had to apply more foundation to try to match the coverage of this side. So in addition to the sponge, in my opinion, not working well, the sponge obviously is going to take away more coverage. Okay. So in my opinion, I think this foundation gives you a good solid medium, a good like full medium to full coverage. I think if I wanted to put on more um, to cover up my freckles, cause that's how I can tell the coverage of a foundation is how well it covers my freckles. I think I could build it up simply because when I was applying more, I felt like it built up pretty nicely. So this is what we look like. This color is definitely a little warm for my uh, skin, especially comparing it to my chest, but I think I can make it work, especially when I wore it the first time. After applying concealer, I think we were able to balance it out. This would be a great summer shade for me as well. So I am pretty happy about that. But yes, let's do flash photography and see if there is any flashbacks since there is an SPF of 15 in the foundation. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, there is no flash photography, which is amazing. That means if you were to purchase this foundation and you liked it, you could wear it at night, you could wear it during the day and not have to worry about having that ghostly white cast on your face. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup, come back, let you see what this looks like with everything else on top of it. Okay guys, I am back and this is what the foundation looks like with all of my makeup applied on my face. Everything that I am wearing, I will put it in the description box below if you're interested. And so far, I am loving the way that my face looks. I feel like the concealer balanced out the shade, it kind of toned the shade down so it's not um, so warm compared to my chest. I really love the finish of the uh, foundation. So like I mentioned earlier, the website said that the, that the finish of the foundation is more matte. I don't feel like it's matte. I feel like it's more of a satin finish, meaning that if you have more oily skin, you definitely will want to set it. If you have more normal skin, like I have pretty normal skin, I still want it to set it. Maybe if you have dry skin, you may not want to set it. But um, yeah, I think it's a foundation that you would still want to set to kind of keep your oils at bay, but I'm really loving the way that it looks. Um, I don't have any concerns yet, so just to get really close, um, I don't see any significant creasing or like funny looking accumulation of the foundation on my face, which I'm really happy about. Um, yeah. In my opinion, it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna go about my day and then I will check back in with you all at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts and to wrap this video up. So stay tuned. Okay, we are back and it is the end of the day. It has been a little over 10 hours since we've had this foundation on. So I'm gonna come in a little close so that you can see what everything looks like. So here we are. So as you can see, I am definitely uh, a little dewy especially more so around my nose and my forehead. Um, but I think for the most part, it held up pretty good. So I'm going to just take my powder brush with no extra powder on it um, and just do a little powder of my face. And when I wore this foundation for the first time, this is exactly how I looked at the end of the day. I was a little dewy, but I didn't think it was anything that was abnormally or like excessively oily. Now, if you have oily skin, then this foundation stick may not be maybe your most ideal product since it is formulated more so for people who have dry skin or normal skin. It is more of a cream formula and so you might not like it, but I do know someone who recommended this foundation to me. She has excessively oily skin. And she said for her, she was able to wear this foundation stick because she would just, she would put a layer of powder on first, then she would put this foundation stick on and then she would just put her normal setting powder on it, on her face over the foundation and just made sure that she set it really good and it lasted her all day. And I feel like I could see how that could work because like I said, I mean, I'm dewy, but at the same time, this is like 10 plus hours of wear. So I think it held up really good. Um, looking at my face and I don't see any wear 
where I see like excessive creasing, like I have a small line right here where typically foundations will settle in. And I just see like these tiniest, I mean tiniest bit of settling, but nothing that I feel makes that small line exaggerated. And that's what I look for. But I really, really, really like this foundation stick. I was really reading up more on the foundation stick. Ironically, Walmart's website had more information on it than the actual Black Opal website. But it also says that it's um, formulated to blur pores and I can't really attest to it too much because I know that the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, in my opinion, blurs my pores as well. So I can't really answer that question. I should have only put primer on one side and I normally do that. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. Anywho, um, but it also says that you can use their foundation sticks for highlighting and for contouring. So I do want to get another one and a deeper shade to contour with because I think it really would be good for contouring. So I this foundation stick I think for the price and I think for the longevity of the foundation it's a good foundation I'm just looking at my foundation um, to see if I notice anything and no I don't see any like excessive creasing under my eyes or anything like that where I feel like the foundation looks worn or anything like that I did eat um, so it is it has it has worn off a little bit right here it's worn off right here too. So, I mean, that's expected because I was eating. And those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below based on the wear of the foundation, how you like it. Um, just let me know your thoughts because you all tend to leave me your thoughts and I really like them. So leave your comments down below based on either if you've tried this foundation stick or if you're interested in it. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.